web-based and non-web-based transaction processing systems, a brief overview. So we're going to take a look at the two classifications of these types of transaction processing systems side by side. So firstly is web-based, where the storage location of the database file is accessed via the internet in order to connect to a server. So you need to be connected to the internet if you're going to access this system, and that's how you'll get to the server. There probably are areas on site too where you can access the actual server as well, but predominantly it has internet connection and thus users from over the world could connect to this actual web-based TPS. On the flip side, a non-web-based TPS means that the database file is stored locally on the system or more so accessed through a local area network to a specific server. So it can be on a network, just the network is not on the internet to connect to that server. You've got to have some sort of LAN set up with uh, wired or wireless mediums and um, hardware set up to connect you to that server. So it's more of a private network. So if we look at this visually, on the web-based side, we have our computer, we need to connect to the internet, and through the internet we can connect to a server, whereas with a non-web-based TPS, I've got my system, and it connects to the server through the network makeup that I'm using. So let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of web-based. And look, the big advantage of this is the systems database can be accessed from all over the world through the internet. And this is great if you've got a commercial business that you're working with here, because you could have customers all over the world accessing your site, signing up to it and entering their own details in order to become a part of your service. And they can all do that through the internet. And you're gonna see, Access is everything really with the difference between web-based and non-web-based because on the disadvantage side of things, it's prone to a higher security risk due to the internet technologies. You've got more entry points through the internet for hackers to get into the system. So that's a disadvantage of it there. Also, access is dependent on the internet being online. So if the internet does go down, we can't access the actual network if we're working from home or whatever, especially if I'm a participant of this system and I need to use the internet to get through to it in order to do my work for the company I'm with. On the flip side, for the non-web-based TPS, the advantages are the higher security due to the limited access to the actual server. Okay, Because it is within a private network, there is more control there. Of course, there's always ways to get in, but it doesn't have a global uh, access as is the case with a web-based TPS, which works to its favor in relation to security. Okay, but then on the disadvantage side of things, you need to be within the side of the network in order to access the actual system. All right, so you've got to be within that LAN, okay, or a private WAN in order to get into that system, okay, in order to access the server. You can't be accessing it from home because at home, you are not near the place of works system. So it's not possible there. So I hope this gives you just an idea of the differences between the two types of categories of web-based and non-web-based TPSs. And essentially it all comes down to the internet. One, you can use the internet to get into the system. The other, it's more likely a private network.